Hi, friends. You know, the modern flags that we see flying from the top of Capitol buildings or out in front of patriotic homes really stem back from the times of battles being fought between warring nations. These beautifully designed and intricately colored banners were flown high above the battlefield, so the warring forces were able to identify amid the chaos and the smoke and the fog of war where their forces were rallied and where they were fighting the battle. And if you could capture your enemy's flag, it was considered the highest honor. Wonder if that's where we got the game, Capture the Flag. With the changes in war, now these flags also represent a little more of a demarcation and identification of different nationalities. Today, the flags that represent the different nations of the world are very colorful and diverse, and all of the colors and the shapes have a specific meaning. They're easy to distinguish and recognize from one another. But perhaps one of the most interesting flags in the world is the flag of the Philippines. This is unique because it is flown differently in times of peace than it is in times of war. During times of peace, the Filipino flag that's composed of red, white, blue, and yellow is flown with the blue side up. But in times of war, they flip it around and the red side is up because there they're willing to make sacrifices of their blood to defend the freedom of the country. In the same way that an embassy that is situated in a foreign country flies their flag while still surrounded by another nation, Christians are supposed to have the flag of God's love flying in this fallen world. You can read in the book Song of Solomon, chapter two, verse four, his banner over me is love. Love is the flag that identifies Christians as a unique kingdom even here in the world. So friend, the big question is, how are you flying your flag?